What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Ryan's about to answer the phone. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Jess is over there. Abby might be coming in a little bit later. Um, she's not, you know, 100% back to feeling feeling perfect yet. So uh, she was a little nauseous this morning, so she decided to stay home. Uh, but like I said, she might be coming in later today. Um, today so far has been probably one of the best days for trade-ins that we've ever had in terms of like rare stuff which is pretty cool. Looks like a customer is coming in, so I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff later. Ryan. Yeah? Are we closed? Yeah, we closed. Yeah! Yay! All right, guys. Today's trades have been insane. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go through and show you guys that. And then we have a few packages to open. If Ryan wants to stay and help, he can. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll be opening them by myself. Here are some of the trades. We got a <laughs> lot of stuff for my personal collection today. Um, mm -hmm. And Ryan. <laughs> I wasn't showing you the stuff I was saving for my collection over the past few days, but I have to show you at least some of it from today because it was too cool. <laughs> so, first up, we have the Snoopy Game & Watch Tabletop Arcade. Not a cheap unit. Super awesome. We also got the Donkey Kong 2, which uh, he actually bought this from us a really, really long time ago. <laughs> but he's getting rid of some of his collection. We have some Vita games here. Did you buy any of these ones, Ryan? Yeah, I bought two. Ryan got two of them. I did not keep a single Vita game for my collection, even though I don't have, I don't think I have any of these. We have Touch My Katamari, Persona 4 Golden, uh, Senran Kagura Estival Versus, Senran Kagura Shinobi Versus, Freedom Wars, uh, Hyper Devotion Noir, Goddess Blackheart, Lost Dimension, Trigger Happy Havoc, Drive Girls, and this is a Japanese import, uh, Gundam Breaker 2, I think. And the two I got are uh, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters and Race the Sun. Which, that's a limited run game, right? Yes, yes it is. Oops. So, Ryan got those two. Yeah. Ryan got some more stuff that we'll maybe see here in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> For the original Xbox, we have Predator Concrete Jungle, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, and then Resident Evil 5 for the 360, and Fable 3 for the 360. And then for the Xbox One, we have LEGO DC Super Villains, LEGO The Movie, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, LEGO Batman 3, Metal Gear Solid 5, and Tom Clancy's Division 2. For PS3, Metal Gear Solid 4, Atelier Rorona, The Alchemist of Arland, Sonic Generations, Grand Theft Auto 5. Young Justice Legacy, and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And then PS1, a lot of these don't have manuals because they were traded in disc only, and unfortunately we just had cases for them. So, Army Man 3D, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Twist of Metal 3, Tekken 3, Tomb Raider, and Rugrats Studio Tour. The Legacy of Kane also had a Blockbuster sticker on it. Oh yeah, the disc has a rental sticker on it. I put that in the in the title though, okay. but yeah. yeah, it's got that. One Dreamcast game, Star Wars Episode One Racer. The price on that is crazy. Yeah. A couple DVDs here, Macross Volume One, and then Speed Grapher. And then for the Switch, we have Valkyria Chronicles Four, a very expensive game here. Shantae Pirates Curse, which is a limited run. Limited run game, 150 for a pre-owned copy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy. Price charts is a little bit lower than that, but if you look at the actual sold listings, they're definitely selling around this price. And then we also have the collector's edition version of is it Gris or Grease? Uh, I was G R I S. Like, yeah. Well, whatever it is. Yeah, it didn't there fit in this bag. That's why it's <laughs> open on there. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> So this one is opened. Um, mm -hmm. And we have Metroid Prime 3, Twilight Princess, and Wii Sports Resort. And then for the PlayStation 2, we have Persona 3 FES, Sly 2, Digimon Rumble Arena 2, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, Ratchet & Clank, Army Men, Green Rogue, Dynasty Warriors 2, Over the Hedge, Tr uh, Shrek Smash & Crash Racing, Shrek 2, Crash Nitro Kart, Ratatouille, Sprint Cars, and Crash, and then Jack 2. We have the Persona 5 original soundtrack. Pretty cool. 
And then also the Persona 5 Take Your Heart Premium Edition for the PlayStation 4. Yeah, it's opened, cool. but it's fully complete. Yeah. Also a pretty pricey one. Ooh, yeah. That one's really cool. It's very cool. We have 4-in-1 Fun Pack Volume 2 with a ripped up label. We also got the box manual for this traded in, but I didn't want to put this cartridge with it, so I separated them. We have Japanese Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Japanese Dragon Quest Monsters. Japanese Pokemon Trading Card Game. Then we have Rayman DS, Ice Age 2, Donkey Kong Country 3, Mega Man 5, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Japanese Metroid Fusion. Uh, the person that traded this in bought this from us not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks for the DS. For the Nintendo 64, we got Yoshi's Story and Banjo-Kazooie, both pretty nice copies. For Super Nintendo, we got Castlevania 4 and Looney Tunes B-Ball, which I did not know was such an expensive game. The back is kind of messed up, but the front is pretty good. For the Sega Saturn, we have Tomb Raider and Sonic 3D Blast. I will let you know there were three other Saturn games that came in that uh, I'm keeping for my collection, one of which is pretty special. I don't think I'm going to show those uh, in today's video. We'll save those for my pickup video. Uh, but there is... A collection that came in that I I'm probably going to be holding on to. Haven't 100% decided yet, but I'm leaning towards keeping it. We have some PlayStation 4 games here, which are pretty good titles. This is a an import DJ Max Respect. We have Atelier Sophie, Atelier Lighty and Swell, Swell, whatever it is. Uh, the Dark Souls 3 Day One Edition. Uh, so this is one pack here, so you get the game with this case, slipcover, and then the steel book with it. It was kind of hard to price, but like the steel book by itself has sold for like fifty dollars. <laughs> so I figured, you know, sixty for the whole set is probably a good deal. Yeah. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Atelier Ferris, Ferris, whatever it is. Um, Tales of Basaria, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and Doom, and then Ryan got I got a couple. I got Control. And Neo? Neo. Yeah. Yeah, I got Neo 2 a little bit back I, when he got the special edition big box. And so I got it. I cool one. stuff. Yeah. We have some Japanese Game Boy Color games complete in box. This is the coolest one, the Pokemon Pinball. I'm Very surprised cool. you didn't want that one. Well, I can get it American, so. Yeah. We have Bomberman Max Red Tetris DX. And then these last ones, uh, I'm pretty sure these are Japanese exclusives. I'm not going to pretend to pronounce what they are. <laughs> but there you go. And then and Ryan then got a I couple got, of those as well. Yeah, I got a couple Japanese ones. So I got Pocket Family GB2. Looks pretty cool with the dog. He pooped and the, the robot's got to pick it up. <laughs> and then uh, we got a hamster game for Jeff. I think that was yeah, Hamster really. Paradise 4. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Hamster Paradise. Some gameplay on the back there. Pretty cool. <laughs> I had to get them. <laughs> we got a strategy guide for Link to the Past, which this guide, if you look at the sold listings for the actual Nintendo Power one, it's selling for like up to 150 for some of them. There's a lot of them sold around 100 but there's also some cheaper, so I tried to go somewhere in the middle there. It's in really, really nice condition, though. Yeah. Is there like a? I don't think there was a poster or anything. Open right here. What is it? Towards the front. Right here. Oh yep. Oh, maybe there is something. Oh, fold out map. Still really cool. Yeah. And then finally, we have some Game Boy stuff. Yeah. So this Mario's Pit Cross is just box and manual. I actually need the manual for my copy, so we are selling this one box only. Um, I don't think this box is a condition upgrade over mine. They're, according to my spreadsheet, they're really, really similar. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Uh, this Dr. Mario is complete, I think, minus the tray, the cardboard insert. This one is also box and manual only, but really, really nice shape. Here's the 401 Fun Pack, which now is just box and manual. We have a complete Pokemon Ruby in really, really nice condition. Very cool. And then also a complete Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, nice. which I think this one does have the tray. I thought there was two of them that didn't have trays, but 
whichever ones don't, they're marked. They're marked to tell you which ones they are. So, so we got, like I said, a little collection traded in. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it at first, uh, but I think I've decided to keep it. It's pretty dang cool. Yeah. We got a complete inbox Vectrex system. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ryan got it all tested out. Yep. It works great. The box is not perfect. It's got, uh, let's see if I can show you. It's got some tape rips on the side there, um, on the top as well, and then over on that side. It's missing the styrofoam from the box, but it does have the paperwork. There's it working. On camera, it's blinking. It's not doing that in person. No, it's not. But, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it looks crazy on camera. <laughs> the camera can't keep up with the well, it whatever's looks great going on. In person. Yeah, it's trust us, it's not blinking like this in, in real life. And then along with that, we got a bunch of games. One of the games I will not be keeping because it was a loose cartridge. Is that the one that's in there? Yeah. So, as you guys know, I only collect complete. So, Clean Sweep we're going to be selling. And then we have an extra controller in the box, which is really, really cool. You guys know I love collecting box controllers. And then we have all these games here. We have Fortress of Narzad, Bedlam. We have a boxed light pen, which is really cool. These are stupidly expensive. <laughs> we have Armor Attack, Berserk, Pole Position, Anim Action, which is one of the light pen ones. And then Starhawk and Scramble. So, overall, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Vectrex is one of those consoles that I do not have anything for. I was telling Jess earlier, I have some pieces in my collection that, you know, like I have probably 10 or 15 Turbo Graphics games, but I don't have a Turbo Graphics system because I have not found one with the box yet. I have like 10 Atari Lynx games, but I have not found an Atari Lynx in the box, so I don't have that. Um, there are a few things in my collection like that where, you know, maybe I have a system and no games for it, or I have some games but no system. The Vectrex was one that I did not have a single thing for at all. So to go from nothing to having a boxed system and like, you know, however many games that is, eight games and a, an extra controller in the box is really, really cool. The guy that traded it in he knew that I was going to be keeping it, and he was actually happy. Um, he watches the video, so if you're watching, thank you so much. It's super cool to see stuff like this come in. Um, we also made some crazy eBay purchases today, which are going to be coming sometime next week. Uh, Sam sent me a couple listings for them, and we snagged those. And then, like I said, there were some more Saturn games that got traded in that I needed for my collection um, there were also some more boxed Game Boy games traded in that I needed, but there was nothing special in there. They were all filler titles. Um, so yeah, really, really good stuff overall. I'm super happy with today, with today's trades, I should say. Sales were nowhere near what we spent <laughs> on stuff. Um, it's, it's okay if that only happens, you know, a couple times a month, um, it seems to be happening a little bit more often recently, but sales are still really good, so there's really nothing to complain about. So I don't know if Ryan wants to stay or not, but we got to open some packages. All right, so we have one, two, three, four packages here, and then one more that we're going to save for last. Um, I don't know what everything is here. I, I know what two, if not three of them are because I got delivery notifications uh, but some of the smaller ones, I'm not sure if they're, like, mail-in trades or if they're eBay purchases or what. Because we do have a lot of stuff coming right now. Looks like there's a note. It says, Cooper, Abby, and Ryan. I'm sorry to see what happened with the recent events with the shoplifting. As a video game person who used to vend flea markets myself, I know how it feels. As you can see, enclosed is... As you can see, enclosed is what was took of what you had sold to a customer. Some... I actually, I'm, I think I know what it is. I hope that's not what it is, though, because that's too expensive to, to give to us. I actually just had these laying around and have not got around to listing them yet. 
I'm not on the level of you all, but I have a two-car garage with no cars in it, full of games. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy watching the videos and have bought many items from your website. I know this does not fix the whole situation, but at least you can have your personal copies back. The only mm. thing I did not have was the manual. Um, hope Abby feels better soon. Uh, he didn't sign it, but the name on the package says Jason. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is with how he's wording things. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so he sent... Yeah. It's kind of stuck in the box, but he sent a Game Boy player with the disc, um, which is extremely thoughtful, but Jason, you don't have to do that. <laughs> um, especially since we should be able to to get the get it back from Video Game Wizards. Um, my personal uh, disc for the Game Boy player did have the manual and the slipcover. The one that we sold had the manual but no slipcover, so I took my slipcover off and I saved it. Um, so for my personal one, um, I'll have to get the manual from the one we get back from Video Game Wizard. So um, this is extremely thoughtful. But you didn't have to do it. <laughs> um, it's very nice, though. We, I'm pretty sure that we did have a local customer who was wanting one of these. I don't know if it's still on their wish list or not. Um, but if they did have it on there, um, then this would be going to them. Um, I can wait to get the one back from Video Game Wizard since I used my personal one to replace that one. So the one we get back would be the one that I would take back for myself. Um, so Jason, you are a super nice guy. You definitely did not have to do that. Um, and since we are getting the other one back, I don't know if you sent this before that information was posted in the videos and stuff, but, um, if you want this back, let me know. I will send it to you. Of course. Um, I'm assuming that you probably sent it before knowing that we were getting the other one. So if you want this back, if you want to sell it, what? because it sounds like you were going to sell it, just haven't gotten around to it. They're so expensive. I don't want to take it when we don't necessarily need it. So if you want it back, please let me know. I will send it to you. And if not, it will hopefully be going to one of our customers that had it on their wish list. Um, so either way, thank you so much. You're a super awesome guy. Yeah. did not have to do that. <laughs> so next up... I'm pretty sure I know what this one is because this is an eBay label. And it's... Yeah. Alright, so this is an eBay purchase that I made for the store. So this is a copy of Fantasy Star Online for the GameCube. This is not the plus version, it's the regular one. Um, the case artwork is water damaged a little bit. And it doesn't have a manual... However, we do have a manual for it. Mm. Um, either this is not the original case or someone just took off the sticker that's here. No. I don't know if you if you still need that or not. Um, I'm going to have to do, do a little bit of research. If you need that to play it, then I'm going to probably have to return it. Um, it looks like there's a couple very minor top scratches as well, which... I know for GameCube games, sometimes doesn't really affect it. Um, I knew that it was water damaged, of course, uh, but it was pretty cheap, and I knew we had a manual to complete it, so hopefully it's it's all fine to go as is. And then, this one's kind of heavy. This one has a PayPal label, but I'm not sure what it is. that I was buying these from someone. Whoop. There isn't a note, but I'm pretty sure that I was buying these from someone that I was emailing with. So we have NBA Street Volume 3 for PlayStation 2, Gallop Racer 2004 for PlayStation 2. So you guys don't know, most of the Gallop Racer games are kind of expensive. And then WWF In Your House for PS1. Um... I feel like there might have been another game or two that, that was with this, or that at least we were talking about. I'm not sure. Um, but 
but that was from Brian. So, uh, Brian, if I don't get, if I haven't gotten back to you by the time you see this video, send me a message or send me another email. Um, I don't, don't remember if I had paid for these yet or not. Sometimes we'll pay for stuff up front if people don't mind, you know, the PayPal fees. If they want us to pay friends and family, we usually ask that they send it first and we pay once we get the items. Um, hopefully, since we have the store and everything, we're, you know, I'd like to imagine people think that we're trustworthy. We've never tried to rip anyone off by doing that, but we have been ripped off by paying friends and family first. So we just have to be extra safe. So I don't know if you paid for these yet or not, but uh, Brian, like I said, if you see this video and I have not emailed you yet, please shoot me an email and we'll get that all taken care of. So this box comes from Galactic Toys in Michigan. And I think that this is an eBay purchase, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And this is a freaking cool one. So, Ooh, it is. this is a personal collection item. This one and the last package are both for my collection. I bought these off of eBay. This is the Luigi's Mansion first four figures PVC statue. So cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> this is factory sealed. I will, of course, be opening this to display it in the game room. I'm probably going to leave it sealed until we move because um, I don't have anywhere to put it just yet. But super, super cool. Very cool. He was like 80 bucks or something like that, like 70, 75 uh, plus shipping or something like that. Nice. Um, I don't know what they were new, but it's pretty cool. It's got some weight to it, so it's not, it doesn't feel super, super cheap. But, yeah, that's really, really cool. As you guys know, I love Luigi. He's one of my favorite characters. I always play as him in Mario Party or Mario Kart or any of those types of games. So, that is super awesome. So, the last package that we have to open is going to be really cool. And you guys might get a little hint from the side of the box. <laughs> this is something that I had actually pre-ordered from the company when it was new and ended up not getting it. Um, the way they do their pre-orders is kind of frustrating, but they only take like 10 bucks as a down payment, and then they charge your card for the remainder once it's available. The problem is they open up pre-orders like a year and a half before they're available. So whenever they get around to shipping them, you better have that money in your account. And when I pre-ordered it the first time, I did not have that money ready because <laughs> I honestly thought that I paid for it in full up front. I didn't. So I found this one on eBay. And the first one, this was years and years ago that this came out. So um, it's actually much cheaper now than if I had bought it when it was new. <laughs> so this is mm. a Mario statue. This is... The box says Super Mario 3D Land. Um, I mean, it's just Mario in a Tenoki suit, so what, which game it's for, I guess, doesn't really matter too much. Um, but I don't know if they're individually numbered or what, but it's 1842. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another thing, like I said, for our personal collection. And I want to display this in the game room. Um, so I'm going to open it up and we'll show it to you guys now, but it's going to be going back into the box until we move. Just don't really have any room for this kind of stuff right now, unfortunately. And we also have a couple more coming in the mail. <laughs> um, the day that I bought this, I also bought the Luigi and I bought two other figures or statues that I had in my watch list on eBay. And... We had like some extra money at that point and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get those statues I've been looking at. And so I bought all four of them at once. <laughs> so That's awesome. It's gonna be really, really cool to have them all. Um there's a little card here. I don't know exactly it's uh to register your official license product and obtain the full benefit, blah blah blah. So I think there's a number on there I probably shouldn't show, but there's a card for it. And where'd I put the box cutter? There's some tape. 
want to be careful to open it. I'm obviously going to keep the box and everything. I know that if you ever decide to sell your statues or whatever it is, it always helps to have the box for shipping at the very minimum, but people just like to have the boxes anyway, of course. All right. Do you want to just look at him inside the box? <laughs> or? Oh, he's got a good weight to him. This is solid. He looks cool. <laughs> he does look cool. Here's his tail, which I guess we'll put on last. Maybe we'll display him here in the store yeah. until we move and then actually have room for him at home. That I don't know where cool. he would go. I'm sure we can find somewhere to put him, but he's definitely not for sale. Unless somebody wants to pay some stupid amount and I can buy a replacement and have some money left over. <laughs> then I'll consider it. Which you never know. Awesome. Right. We gotta get some close ups on him too, but there he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Poking out that tanuki butt. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Man, it looks so nice. It's so cool. I'm so happy with it. It it's so heavy too. Like he's got he's got some good weight. This is like solid uh resin, is that what they call it? Yeah. Can't remember, but it's not plastic. It's uh it's not light, it's not cheap. <laughs> this is first four figures we're talking about. They do some pretty high quality stuff. Even, even this guy, it was obviously new, but it was pre-owned, you know what I mean? They yeah. it came off of eBay, I didn't buy it directly from First Four Figures. It was still not cheap, but it was cheaper than it was brand new, which is really cool, because like I said, I had it pre-ordered, and if I had gotten that first one, I would have ended up spending more money on it than I did, which is kind of cool. Um <laughs> I also have another one coming in the mail pretty soon directly from First Four Figures that I pre-ordered, which was a more recent one. It's another Mario statue, but uh, I think it's a lot bigger than this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that one will be coming soon. I'm excited for that as well. I would love to collect more and more of these things. They're just so expensive, and they take up a lot of room. So my plans for the future game room is to have some of those like glass IKEA display cabinets where we can put some of our different figures and abby has a bunch of statues and stuff from collector's editions like the witcher ones and skyrim and all that um so we need a place to display them and i think in a cabinet like that would be pretty cool so we're probably gonna try to get a few of those for the future game room um but i would love to get more and more of these i think they're super super cool yeah they are So we got one other game traded in today that I needed some help with, guys. Um, I was going to hold on to it, um, but this is a signed copy of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Can you guys identify this signature? The guy that I got it from said it was his kids, and they got it signed at some convention in Portland. I'm assuming PRGE. That was all that uh, he knew about it. So if you guys recognize that signature, please let me know. It looks like it starts with a P. That's all I know. I don't think that it's like some sort of YouTuber or something. I think it's like someone who must have worked on the game. So that is the only signature on it anywhere. Um, yeah. If you guys have any answers for me, that'd be really cool. Like I said, I was going to hold on to it. Don't really collect for 360, but a signed game like this, especially if it's someone, you know, who had something to do with, with making the game like a big role or whatever, it's pretty cool. So let me know if you know. All right, guys, it's time for me to head home. It's getting kind of late. It's like 940-ish or something. I decided to put the Mario right there. Where is it? Right there. So he's going to hang out here at the store. Um, I don't know if I'll leave him here until we move, uh, but he's at least going to be up here for a little bit. I think people will enjoy seeing that. So all the, all the trade-ins that we got from today, um, I stayed late to obviously film everything, but I also took pictures for our Facebook and Instagram. I got stuff put away that I could, 
stuff that doesn't need to be resurfaced, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, DS, all that kind of stuff. The rest of the games that do need to be resurfaced or potentially need to be resurfaced are back there. Um, you can see them right there, that stack. Um, whatever I have for my collection is in the back, minus the Vectrex. It's still hooked up, and I wanted to actually play it before putting it away, so I told Ryan not to unhook it. So I also got all the rest of the stuff shipped, so I have this whole box of packages here. This is completely full, so I'm going to be dropping that off at the post office on my way home. Um, I know that people have been waiting for the factory sealed games to come in. A lot of people still have orders on back order. So I do apologize it's taken so long. Um, the, the order that I have to make to fulfill those is very, very expensive. Um, and I was hoping to just be able to pay for it all directly out of PayPal, which is where the majority of the money from the website goes. Uh, most people pay with PayPal on there. Uh, but we had a couple other things we had to pay for that took money out of there. So I, I've kind of been you know, putting it off a little bit and hoping that I could get some more money in there before making the order. It looks like that's not going to happen unless I make you guys wait another two weeks, which I don't want to do. So I'm hoping to place that order before the weekend is over. Um, so by Monday or Monday, by Monday evening, I'm hoping to place that next order. Um, not only will we be getting everything to fulfill all of the orders that are currently on hold, but we're also getting more stuff uh, more quantity for things we've already ordered, but also new games we have not ordered before. So, like I said, hoping to do that by Monday. Um, so, this is what is left of the sealed games, this one shelf in here. So there's definitely still a few things that is available, but we're going to have a lot more coming in. Um, I also have made another Hyperkin order. I've made another order for some plushies. Some stuff that has been out of stock since the very first order we made that something that a lot of people really, really wanted is finally back in stock. And I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to spoil it. You can see once we get the packages in. So tomorrow's Friday. We hopefully will be getting some more packages. We're still waiting on more stuff from eBay and a few other things. Um, so we'll hopefully have some cool stuff. I really hope that trades are not like they were today. Um, as I said earlier, we actually paid out quite a bit more than we sold today, and that doesn't happen all the time. Um, sometimes people get a misconception that we buy more than we sell. That's simply not true. If we were doing that, we wouldn't be able to buy stuff. We wouldn't have any money to do so. Our sales here are really, really good every day, plus we have the website. Um, the website sales today in particular were pretty slow, but in the store here we did you know, probably an average day um, for a Thursday. Um, we just happened to get a ton of trades unexpectedly. So um, that's just kind of how it worked out today. So I'm hoping that trades for the rest of the weekend are fairly slow. Just hopefully we can make some really good sales, build up that money. Because um, we have, well, of course, we've already paid for the Mario All-Stars. They're coming tomorrow, which should be today if you're watching this video the day that it gets uploaded. For me right now, it's tomorrow. Um, I believe that Abby already called FedEx and had, with the tracking number, had them put them on hold. So Abby will be able to pick up that package uh, tomorrow before we open. So at open tomorrow, we should have all the Mario 3D All-Stars for the Switch. Um, I'm probably going to be playing that tomorrow night. Um, I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to finally play Mario Galaxy because I've only ever played it for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Mario Sunshine, I've played a ton of, but I've never beaten it. I want to do that as well. Obviously, Mario 64, I've beaten a million times. It's my number one favorite game of all time, but I'm excited to have that on the Switch as well. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, we pre-ordered three copies for ourselves from Best Buy before realizing we were going to be able to get them. Uh, so... Uh, one copy for Abby, one copy for me, one copy to have sealed in the collection. Um, Mario 64 is my favorite game. I want one sealed for the collection. I don't care if it's factory sealed. I just want one. I know I've been talking a lot more recently about, you know, not really caring as much about sealed games and thinking about selling some and stuff like that. Um, but this game in particular, it's my favorite game. I want to have a sealed one. I love the Switch, and I love Mario 64, so those two things together <laughs> is amazing. So I think that's going to do it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got a lot of really, really cool stuff today, added some awesome pieces to our personal collection. 
which is always very, very cool. And uh, I'm probably not going to wait as long to do my next pickup video because I already have so much stuff for it. And I just filmed it last week. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that'll be coming at some point. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.